So I want to do a little bit of an experiment with you guys. So what I want to talk to you about. <clears throat> so if you see behind me, I'm standing in a little clearing. You can see the woods behind me. Now, with the view I have the camera on right now, it just kind of looks like a wall of woods. This is the way that most people see the woods. They tend to look at the woods. They don't look through the woods. So what I've done here for my experiment is I took my jacket and I put it out in the woods. Now, good luck finding it right now because the camera view is showing you a view of looking at the woods. But I'm gonna get behind it here in a second and I'm gonna start zooming in, which is going to imitate looking through the woods, which may help it make a little more sense to some of you. Uh, people that are hunters, seasoned outdoorsmen, they tend to do this all the time anyway. It's just something they've learned over the years and they do it naturally. A lot of people do not. A lot of people, they'll look at the woods, you know, they'll hear something out there. Like earlier, I was hearing something walking around. Well, if I was looking at the woods, I wouldn't have known what it was. But I know how to look through the woods. Well, there was a couple squirrels playing. So practice that. When you guys get out there, practice looking through the woods and not at the woods. Now let me get turned around here. Now, you can see it just looks like a wall of woods, but I'm gonna start zooming in and you guys tell me if you can see my jacket. Okay, we're starting to look through the woods a little bit. You guys see it yet? It's right there, center of the screen. Oh, sorry. Let me get my finger up there and show it to you. It's right there above my finger, right there. So in the camera view right now, we're looking through the woods, through the woods to my jacket. I'm gonna zoom out. You should still be able to see it now that you know where it is. If I get zoomed all the way out, now it's showing a view of looking at the woods. This is how most people see the woods. This is why most people are frightful of the woods or frightful of being out here alone. They hear something, they can't see it, they don't know what it is, it scares them. But if you can learn to look through the woods, and there you go, see my jacket right there. So practice that guys. Practice looking through the woods and not at the woods. As you can see, I went and got my jacket back. But before I did, I backed up and did the same thing from here. And I wanted to show you that because the sun started to hit the jacket. Made it just a little bit easier to see on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you right now. Okay, so if you see the view here, you just see the wall of woods. Now I'm gonna start zooming in, showing about looking through the woods. You tell me if you can see my jacket yet. I can see it, can you guys see it? Get my finger up here. It's right above my finger right there. That's my jacket. So we are looking through the woods now at my jacket. But if I zoom out, this would be a view of looking at the woods. But as I start to zoom in, you should start to see my jacket now. As long as you're looking through the woods and not at the woods. Keep zooming in. And there's my jacket right in the center of the view. Right above my fingertip. Make sure you get out there. Don't just practice that. Work on all your skills. You know, practice those skills. Get better at those skills. Own those skills. Then once you have figured them out and you think you own them, keep practicing. Keep working on them. You can, you're never too good to keep learning, to keep improving, and to keep getting better at doing things out here in the bush. Make sure you go out by yourself, 
Go out alone, maybe take a pup with you. But don't go out with people all the time. People create distractions. And there's a lot of things you can learn if you're out here alone with no distractions. You start seeing things a little differently. But make sure you guys get out there. Spend time in the woods. Practice those skills. Own those skills. This was Chris with Ashcraft Outdoors. Till the next one, guys.